while we're in the midst of a supposed event which promotes the ascension of humans to immortality, we need to first understand what ascension means. Ascension is the transformation from one state of being into a higher state of being. In the New Age community, we have the classification of ascended masters. These were people who lived physical lives on earth, but somehow managed to go through a transformation, or what is commonly known as an initiation, through their wisdom and mastery and broke free of their reincarnation and the karmic cycle. These individuals have transcended the earthly plane of existence and now reside in a higher vibrational state. These individuals have successfully mastered their experience in the physical realm and have graduated to non-physical existence while still being able to interact with and on behalf of humans in the form of guides, teachers, guardian angels, gurus and channels. Some commonly known Ascended Masters are Jesus, Paramhansa, Yogananda, Badaji, Babaji, Buddha, Zoroaster, Zarathustra, Saint Germain and Confucius. There are many more and the list of Masters varies, but a few of these are usually agreed upon. New Age supporters and enthusiasts are convinced that we humans are currently undergoing our own ascension or transition, where our bodies are being made more ethereal and the DNA is being changed, and we are transforming into a type of light body in order to prepare for the coming event. We feel that this is false and misleading information. What we see happening is an internal awakening, a spiritual growth that is raising the consciousness of humans. While this is an important advancement forward for the human soul group, the transformation is happening on the inside, not the outside. We are born into these bodies, and we remain in these bodies until it is our time to leave. Any notion that human bodies can miraculously dissolve into an etherical state where the soul is released to carry on in a higher plane seems impossible, unless some kind of technology or outside interference is involved. This is why Edward Rurden's remote viewing session was so startling to us. He apparently saw exactly this type of technology. An idea that the physical third dimensional body can be removed and relocated into a higher vibrational frequency beyond the physical reality does not make sense either. Physical bodies can only operate in physical reality according to what we have determined. While there have been claims that physical people have been taken off this planet and ascended, Enoch, Elijah, Muhammad and Jesus to name a few, we suspect that there were extraordinary circumstances or interference on behalf of interdimensional beings that uh, facilitated this process. We also suspect that these characters may not have been human to begin with, as we are researching the legends and myths of these masters. New Age teachings insist that our DNA is being changed at this moment in order to accomplish this type of ascension process or transformation. We do not disagree that our DNA may be changing. However, instead of some mystical supernatural source being the catalyst, we would like to suggest that there is a known source documented to have this ability to change human DNA, and it is easily discoverable and researchable. Electromagnetic frequency radiation. The human body is electric. Any electric system is vulnerable to the impact of electromagnetic frequencies EM. Examples of electromagnetic frequencies are radio waves, microwaves, infrared, x-rays and gamma, gamma rays. Some of our current technology operates within these ranges of EM frequency. 
Wi-Fi operates within the microwave frequency. It is considered non-thermal microwave emissions, so scientists suggest that this has very little to no impact on the human body. The radiation produced by Wi-Fi operating within this frequency spectrum is non-ionizing, so therefore it is considered harmless. Experiments have been conducted to determine if this radiation is safe for humans, and the results have been inconsistent. Some say it is safe and others say it's not. We have no way of being certain to any of these claims, but caution and education seems to be a good idea. Things that have been guaranteed safe in the past have turned out to not be safe after more study and evidence was presented. As we are now blanketed in the Wi-Fi signal world net, we hope the developers of this technology have our best interest in mind. While most people feel that Wi-Fi exposure is safe on the other hand, there have been reports of people who seem to be sensitive to this exposure and their lives made miserable by not being able to find safe spaces to live and conduct business that allow them to be free of this type of EM bombardment. The United States has been reluctant to recognize this type of sensitivity, where Europe, specifically France, has now acknowledged that this does exist and can affect certain people causing disabilities. Some of the symptoms these people experience are headaches, tinnitus, ringing in the ears, heart palpitations, fatigue or tiredness, insomnia, and fitful, fitful sleep, skin tingling, rashes or redness, brain fog, lightheadedness, anxiety, nausea. Another source of EM frequency that needs close watching is the 5G cellular telecommunications network. While this network is not fully operable yet, it is being planned, and this network is being connected uh, right now in specific cities to begin the transition, with AT&T being one of the forerunners. Currently, most of society is operating within the 4G cellular network, and while any exposure to this frequency should be carefully monitored, the 5G network comes with its own host of warnings. The 5G network operates within the radio wave band of frequency. While again, tests have concluded that the low exposure and monitoring of these networks are within or below the limits of safety. In 2011, the World Health Organization classified radio frequency radiation as possible 2B car carcinogen. If it was a possible risk before, the upgrade to 5G warrants careful consideration to the possible health effects it might have on the human body. Thousands of studies link low-level virus, wireless radio frequency radiation exposures to a long list of adverse biological effects, including DNA single and double strand breaks, oxidative damage, disruption of cell metaboli metabolism, increased blood-brain barrier permeability, melat melatonin reduction, disruption to brain glucose metabolism, generation of stress protein. Some of the studies now being conducted on this electromagnetic smog we find ourselves immersed in include the effects on the skin, the effects on the heart, the effects on the eyes, the effects on plant health, the effects on cell growth, the effects on the immune system, the effects of, on bacteria resistance. All these areas have proven to be susceptible and changeable to the exposure of radio frequency radiation. And as 5G is already being turned on in cities and communities around the world, we think it is premature to assume that this will have an effect on these precious and delicate systems we depend on for survival. 
What the short term or long term effects of this exposure will do to us, our bi biology and ecosystem is unknown. Some of the effects are already known, however. Radio frequency and microwave frequency radiation affects the nervous system, including the brain, the endocrine system, testis slash sperm function, and have shown to cause cellular DNA damage, among other things. A publication is included in the description box of this video listing the health effects from 23 controlled scientific studies conducted between 2011 and 2017. We encourage you to read the results of these studies. Now, also included in the description box is the link to a video of physical ascension symptoms. We do not follow the creator of this video. We simply searched for physical ascension symptoms on YouTube and picked one of the many videos on the topic. After listening to it, it seemed to be a good overall example of some of the information being released to the public. We do not support or condemn any of the people who are following this path. Everyone is responsible for their own discernment and we simply want to bring attention to the comparison of similarities with these symptoms. We do not feel that any of the believers of the Ascension narrative have bad intentions. On the contrary, we feel that most of them have very good and heart-based intentions for us. However, we must consider that these people, while being completely sincere, might be manipulated by whatever guide, higher self or cosmic interference from which they are receiving their information. As we are beginning to discover, Whenever there is an enlightenment, a change of course, or a new paradigm being presented for the human population on this planet, we seem to see the same characters showing up time after time to guide and persuade humanity into these new eras. As always, this information is only offered for your own consideration and discussion. We recognize that anything is possible. And if this is true, then we must be willing to consider that humanity has been manipulated into an essential narrative as an explanation for electromag electromagnetic radiation and the way it is affecting us. Of course, we could always be wrong.